19th of February, Italian turn, end of Italian turn. So what the hell is going on here? It's really ugly. You may recall that uh, you know, the last video I did, I was talking about how you know you, you don't want to go banging your head against the wall, and you need to maneuver and be clever and try and cut supply off. And, <laughs> and OCS is all about <laughs> God, it's all about maneuver. Yeah, so that worked out real good. Here's what happened: the British went, and the, well, the Allies went too deep. So we had some units all the way up here, and we come, kind of were strung along here. Now, because we didn't have a solid line in this uh, flanking maneuver that we tried, I, uh, as the Italian player, marshaled all the resources that were lying around here, uh, which is, ends up being these guys. And I'll show you what's in Maletti's stack. There's uh, the Urit Division, or Regiment, I should say, and there's a uh, 6th the Med battalion, a couple of lights, and a couple more companies of uh, light tanks. So you can literally imagine these itty bitty tanks screaming down the highway at, uh, I think, nine or ten miles an hour or whatever it is they do. And uh, <laughs> this headquarters, where is my sweet little headquarters, which was supposed to become a uh, Australian headquarters this turn was sitting in the hex with uh, who was he sitting in the hex with? Where did I put him? This guy. Was it that guy? No, it wasn't that guy. It was a 210, one of these 210s. Let's just say, for example, it was this, but he was flipped over. And I thought, you know, well, I'm, he's back and it'll be fine, and uh, it was not fine. The uh, Italians wove their way around. There was only one unit here, I believe, and this guy was here. They wove their way around. They came down here and cranked down here, moved these guys up here, and then just you know killed this guy, killed the headquarters, surrounded it, got a retreat, just a disaster. This puts all of these guys out of supply. So I had to bring everyone forward and make a little food chain to get the trucks through to throw some tea. And I couldn't even get enough uh, supply through because there's a slope here and there's a slope here. So it just chewed up all my movement points. I think I ended up about here throwing uh, 3T to get three units, uh, this, this unit, and I lost a unit here in an attack, this guy. So just a debacle. And um, now these guys are all out of supply. We've rolled for everybody. These are the units we lost on attrition, uh, except for that guy. We lost uh, one step, this unit. And this unit lost, uh, he was down one step anyway, and then attrition took him out. Or he may have been, been a combat result, I'm not sure. Uh, and then this guy took a step loss as well. So, and Rommel is here, and you can't see him. I'll just move the camera. Rommel's right there. Anyway, um, without a headquarters, so trace supply is not the problem. It's going to be... Uh, moving supply up to get into the combat range. And we lost nearly all of our trucks. Uh, a 1 SP truck, a 1 SP truck, and 2 T's. That's, uh, in terms of total T's, <laughs> shippable T's, that's a shitload. So, uh, you know, there's a part of me that says, well, screw this, I'm just going <clears> to... <throat> going to restart. Uh, we'll wind it back to October last year or not October. Maybe back to January or something like that and um, I kind of go from there. But then the stubborn jerk in me says, you know what, we can we can salvage this, we can pull back and uh, we can try and uh, you know hold on. We can pull back all the way back to here if we need to, back to that line and uh, lick our wounds and rebuild. And the thing we have to keep in mind is that we've got the Greek campaign is in, uh, <coughs> excuse me, is in uh, the preparation stage and it's about to go to the execution stage, probably in March. That's gonna be the next roll we make, which is only two, three, four, five, six, seven turns before we make that roll. 
that's bad. That means more forces off the board for the Allies. So, you know, maybe this was a kind of a similar situation they were in and we just need to work out how to deal with it. And then that's, I think that's how I'm leaning, is that we're gonna, we're just gonna have to soldier on and, and work it out. But it may end up that uh, Rommel feasts on the Sphinx in, uh, in Egypt <laughs> and crosses the Suez Canal in anger. All right, uh, that's, that's all I got for you.